the South Charleston Public Library. We are so excited to have you join us for our field trip Friday. This is our first week where our theme has been libraries. So we're going to spend some time today showing you around our library and some of the high points of what we offer for everybody in the community. See you in a sec. As you can see, here are our front book drops where you can do materials returns of both books and audiobooks and CDs. This is our main entrance into the library. You can see we're walking along while we're telling you all about the library. Second set of doors, restrooms are in the vestibule. That's always important to know. So this takes you into the main area of our library. And we start out here with an overview. You can see our circ desk over to the front of us. If you look the other direction, you're looking at our corner bookstore where you can buy bargain books all the time, anytime. So we're going to take a walk around this side, which we're going to focus first on our fiction area. We have some new signage that's been installed that tells you a little bit about what's in the immediate area on the four corners of the building. So the first area we'll come to here is going to be our large print collection. So large print has a variety of items. They're mostly adult fiction. Um, those items are there and you can place holds on them, but it is one of the largest in the state of West Virginia. So we're really proud of having that available for folks. Then we go through the adult fiction, which is the area we're coming up toward, but all of this on both sides is large print. So as you can see, we have a very, very large collection. Then we come to our next section of fiction, which are our paperbacks. So those are along the wall to your right. This section goes into our regular adult fiction. So this whole area is organized for adult collection. So we go keep going this direction and we get to about here and this starts our nonfiction. Our nonfiction is actually interspersed so that we have juvenile collections as well as adult titles within our nonfiction. So we, as you can see, we have a rather large nonfiction selection. So this is our biographies. We have both autobiographies, which are books written by people about themselves, and biographies, which are books written by other people about people. This begins our selection of our young adult collection. And our young adult collection is available. You can see we have a pretty good size area here of just YA books. Then the next section we come up to is going to be our adult graphic novels. So we've moved those into this area to make them a little easier to find. So as you can see, we have a lot of new items facing outwards. You can see our new titles. So there's we continue to add to this collection. We also have a lot of our graphic novels are available online. So see us if you have questions about some of those. Now we're at the other end of that same row of books. And you can see the signage there telling you what's on that side of our building. So now we're going to turn, and as we turn to walk towards the front of the building, this is our circulation area where you go to check out all of your books. But in our front lobby, this is our new books that come in for adults. This specific bookshelf has our My Lucky Day collection. This is, you can't place holds on those items, but they are there. If you come in and find one of the best sellers, it's your lucky day, and you may borrow that book. So here is our fish collection, which is very, very popular. And we have our brand new self-check machine as well. So you can come in and check out books from there. Okay, and these are our DVDs and our audiobooks for adults. As we move across here, we also have our audiobooks and DVDs for our juvenile. As we come around here, you will see this begins our juvenile graphic novels, which are also known as comics. So we have a good selection of our juvenile graphic novels. You can see a lot of new titles on the ends. Mm -hmm. We come around here and this begins our J fiction, which a lot of folks call our chapter books. So it runs along the far perimeter of the walls all through this area. This section is our young adult collection, and this has a display of all of our new YA titles. So as you can see, there's a lot of new items that are up and available. And this is our YA graphic novels for young adults. So all of these are available. And then you can see on this side, there's even more on both. As you can see, we have a spotlight collection there of our I Survived collection. And we put all of our juvenile new titles in this area so everybody can browse the new items that have just come in. 
This is our J three day loan collection with a lot of our popular movies and, and spotlight books that are actually made into movies. So that's a whole area you can enjoy three day loans. These are our J kits, which can, are comprised of books with CDs that either have music or an actual recording of the book on it. And we also have our children's collection of music on CD there. Okay, and now you'll see our spotlight for summer is on our live library pets. We have our very own frog, who everybody's naming at this point as you sign up for reading. But we, his name is Mystery right now. And then you'll get to see, we're going to get up real close, and you can probably see Flash, our fish. He's the little orange fish in there. We have some more of our JFix collection here. And as we come around, you can see this whole section is called our I Can Read. These are for our earliest readers, and there's a whole section that our youngest readers can browse on their own and choose their favorite books. Then we also have our board book collection, which has expanded a great deal in the past year, so it's very easy to browse that section now. And as we come around, this is our easy collection, which is all of our picture books and fun reads for the whole family. So as you can see, we have a lot to offer in our library. The biggest thing is if you need help with anything, you want to stop back in this area, which is the youth services area. Please come by and let us know when you need assistance. We hope you enjoyed your walkabout in the South Charleston Public Library. Now today we're also going to have some video from a field trip Friday that your youth services team took to the James W. Curry Library. So look out for some footage of that coming soon to your Facebook page and YouTube channel. Take care. Mm -hmm.